we are cruising through life, but the reality of it is we're going to have a bumpy ride. But it's all good. That's what happened to me today. But this is exactly how it ended. So in case you're wondering, I got invited to speak for the Center of Urban Education at the University of Pittsburgh, basically discussing the school to prison pipeline and how it affects urban areas and what we thought could bring change. Let's get it. I don't do the most, but I do a lot. I'ma make a toast, cause we still alive. No big, I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in. Okay, so now I'm taking y'all with me to the elevator section where we're going to actually go to the uh, the speaking engagement for the alumni. So that's where we're actually on our way to right now. So shout out to my bro who invited me to come and speak on this panel. So, you know, let's go. So, you know, when you get lost and it's like, you know, I came to Pitt, but I'm still lost because Pitt is so big, the college, because it's at Pitt University. So... Stay tuned, follow, come with me, <laughs> follow. A leader speak, you know, I call it leadership vocabulary. It's much more the language of possibility, much more the language of inspiration, much more the language of energy, much more the language of what can be made to happen. You know, it makes me think of uh, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs had something called the reality distortion field, which is a term used by Bud Tribble, who was working at Apple at the same time. And he said, you know, even if you didn't believe in Steve's vision, what he was going to bring into the world, when you were with him, you almost got hypnotized by his language, by his belief in himself, by his energy. And you got pulled into this reality distortion field so that you actually went, yeah, Steve, this can be done. And so, do you have your own reality distortion field so that when people are around you, through your language, you uplift them? Because bottom line, words can uplift or words can destroy. And if you look at a, a Nelson Mandela or you look at a Martin Luther King Jr. in his I Have a Dream speech, he used the language that lifted up an entire nation, that showed people what was possible, that painted a gorgeous picture of the future. And then you've got some so-called leaders, and rather than the language of leadership, they used the language of hate. And the words they used didn't lift people up, but they destroyed entire nations. And so I invite you, as you make your leap from where you currently are to where you always wanted to be, to get your words right. I mean, I'm an absolute fanatic about the words I use, because I understand the words I use so influence the people around me. You know, I, I so understand the words I use affect my energy. Call a problem a problem and it becomes a problem. Call a problem an opportunity and it totally reframes your psychology and your emotional architecture about how you reply to it. So, don't despise small beginnings. In the future, I'm gonna have a driver who drives me and takes me exactly to locations so I don't have to be sweating, walking, and looking for buildings. Yeah. This is that bumpy rat I was talking about. But hey, look, I finally found it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so they got different foods and stuff here. And then, you know, I mean, I just got a little salad with some stuff, ranch dressing salad, and then let's see what's in here. Okay, a little nice little care package or something, but this is kind of the food that they're serving. So, although there was a challenge in getting here, I still had a great opportunity to be able to speak into the lives of people and advocate for kids who can't really speak up for themselves. So overall, it was all worth it. And that's exactly how we got here. So that was an experience, but we did good. Everybody told me that they loved it. They said I did an exceptional job. We got a standing ovation. I'll put that link in there so you can check it out. 
Peace. Oh, hold up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Kingdom content.